Okay, so what I'm going to go over here is how to do screen capture on uh, Mac OS X with all open source software. And uh, we're using three open source pieces of software to do this because um, as good as VLC is and Audacity is, um, VLC is not capturing the audio from the Mac uh, hardware for whatever reason, I don't know. But um, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this, and this is what I've come up with. And uh, adversely, we're using Audacity to do the audio capture, um, which it does a fine job. Anyway, and lastly, we're going to be using FFmpeg to do uh, the video and audio muxing uh, after the, the two sources have been captured. Um, so the first thing that we can set up is VLC. And to do that, we're going to go to File, Open Capture Device. And it'll be set to File, just set it back to Capture, <clears throat> and go to Screen. And um, I'm setting my frames per second at 30 frames per second. And I choose to, to capture a subset of the screen because it's actually having to encode less data per frame uh, so you get you know less artifacting, less framiness, and uh, that sort of thing. So I'm going to use a, a standard video um, size here at 640 by 480. And I'm also going to choose to follow the mouse. As you notice, the, this camera here is following the, uh, the mouse. The next thing you're going to check is streaming and saving and go to settings. Now, after much trial and tribulation, I've just, uh, figured out what codec uh, and en encapsulation method works best together in, in this case. Uh, normally, I'd be more than apt to use QuickTime or M uh, MPEG-4 and the, uh, the H.264 codec, but in this case, it gets super framey and frames lose their order and it ends up real herky-jerky. It looks terrible and uh, the audio and video are inevitably not going to mix up because the video just kind of takes off and it goes real fast. I don't know what's going on with it. However, the thing that does work is ASF and WMV2. Go to uh, File Browse, uh, choose your output stream, um, and uh, I'm currently capturing two videos, yeah, so I'm not going to do that. And um, so that's set up and ready to go. As soon as you click open, it's going to start capturing better. So we don't want to do that just yet. We now want to visit Audacity, which you can see it plugging away here and uh, capturing my voice. Um, what you want to do is you want to first, if you were to open up Audacity fresh, uh, it would have no tracks here. Um, and if you captured a track by mistake and you need to delete it, just click this X button here. But what we want to do is we want to uh, click record and open at almost the same time. And not having a track down here gives us actually a couple seconds because it has to create the file before it starts capturing to it. So you click record and you won't see the the track here yet. As soon as you see that track pop up, click open. You might be a couple frames off, but whatever. This is, this is a, a gift horse. Don't look it in the mouth. Um, so as that's capturing, um, you know, do your spiel. So when you're done, click stop and stop also on the VLC um, player. And I like to bring them both pretty close and I stop the audio first because it had probably kind of a head start. Um, so I click this one, click this one, and uh, then we have to go back into Audacity and export the, the file that you just made. So you go to file and you're going to do since I'm capturing, it's, it's grayed out, but export as wave or export selection as wave if you have this track selected. And uh, I would export that to audio.wave on my desktop, uh, and it, it would match up with where I have the video kind of set up here. When I, after that, I have to go back into my command line. And this is how we're going to bring the video and the audio back together into the same file. And um, so I have typed, by the way, if you don't have FFmpeg, you can get it through ports um, pretty easily. You download Mac ports from the Mac ports website. And, um, and then you would do a port. Actually, you would have to, to 
invokes sudo, which is a, a root user uh, command. You, uh, sudo port install ffmpeg. Right? But I already did that, so I'm not going to do that. And what I would do is it download the source, it compiles the source, and then it's ready to use. Um, in some cases, you have to enable uh, live lame for MP3 encoding, but I'm not going to go over that right now. You can look into that if you need to do it. Um, otherwise, we're going to do the encoding, or the muxing rather, and some encoding. So I'm going to use FFmpeg. I'm going to choose my first input stream, which is going to be my video, which is the video ASF, which I in a previous video I, I, I made it. So uh, it is there, and I'm going to make another input, which is going to be my audio source, which is my audio.wave. And we don't want to encode the video again, because that's a long, tedious process for your, your, your computer to do. And uh, we'd just rather bypass that and use the first encoding, because that, this way also you're going to save the, the best amount of quality out of this video. So we're going to do vcodec, copy. No encoding, not transcoding anything. It's just copying the, the video codec back into our output uh, movie, output file. Um, and if you wanted to encode the, uh, the audio as anything in particular, you would choose the audio codec flag and do like live mp3 lame, which is going to default to anyway. Um, so I'm just going to not choose to, to do uh, audio encoding, and it will just figure it out by itself. Next, I'm going to input the output file name. So I did it last time. I did it video audio output. Um, in this case, I would have to put 2.asf. Click that, and press enter, whatever, and... Um, it will encode that file. And your output file is the final output, um, what you're seeing right now. <clears throat> I hope this has been helpful to you, and um, you know, leave me some feedback if uh, you like my, what you're seeing here.